Hello nerds, today we're going to be showing you how to add your own guns into the weapon mechanics resource pack. We're going to be adding three guns, but technically only two, uh, the STG-44 and the Fat Man. When you download the plugin, you're going to see them already in the resource pack, and that's because I'm adding them. You're welcome. <laughs> so, to get started, I already have a lot of stuff done. So I already have the files for the STG-44 and the Fat Man completed. I, and even more than that, I have their skins set up. So if I look at the skin section, you can see I start at 15, and then add 1,000 for the scope, 2,000 for sprint, and 100,000 for the reflex site. So why do we use such big numbers? These big numbers are actually just a part of our formatting system. As you can see by this demo file, skins are split into four sections. The first section is the starting value of the gun. You can use any number, 1 through 999. 15 is the value that we're using for the STG-44 because the last gun was 14, and the next gun will be 16, and then 17, and so on. So 15 for the STG-44. The second section is the skin action. So the plugin makes sure that only one of these can be true at one time which means that you can only ever be scoping. You can't be scoping and sprinting. So if you want to be scoping with our default gun, it'll add 1,000 to 15, which means we get 1,015. 2,000 for sprinting, so 2,015. 4,000 for reloading and no ammo, so 4,015. You can go up to 9,000. So that means if you wanted to have, say, scopy, scope stacking or stacky scopes, then you would say add 5,000, or if you wanted to go crazy and go all the way up to 9,000, you can. But you cannot go into 10,000 because that'll intrude into the next section. And you'll notice that we can only use increments of 1,000. This might make sense later. Our third section are cosmetic skins. These skins are usually ones that you put on your server's web store so you can support your server. These use increments of 10,000. So if you wanted to have your Asimov STG-44 scope, that means you have to have your Asimov skin, so 10,000, plus the scope skin, which is 1,000, plus the starting value, which is 15, which means that we get 10,000, 1,000, 15. So 11,015. And if we look at any one custom model data, we can now check if it follows the format. So this first number means that it has a skin. This next model means that it's scoping. And the 15 means that it's from STG-44. Now, since you can only have one skin on at a time, you can use 10,000 and then 20,000, then 30,000, all the way up to 90,000. So that leaves space for nine skins. All right, for our last section, we have attachments. So attachments are unique since you might have, say, a reflex sight on and a suppressor on, and both of these might change the skin. So how do we handle that? Since we can have them on at the same time, we have to use powers of 10. So you'll see that this is 100,000, and this is 1 million. So if we want to have a suppressed reflex sight Asimov scoping STG-44, <laughs> then we're going to have the suppressor, which is 1 million, plus the reflex site, which is 100,000, plus the scope, or plus the Asimov, which is 10,000, plus the scope, which is 1,000, plus our default model, which is 15. And if we add that all together, we get 1,111,015. All right, so now I don't expect anyone to ever use all of these features at the same time, but some people have asked for it. <laughs> I will never be adding any of these weapons that use all these features. I, I think anyone who does something like that is insanely dedicated. But if your server is bringing in a lot of money from skins, you definitely have a huge incentive to say add nine skins or add attachments to your skins because obviously that means that your server's revenue is based off of skins. So this, this feature allows you to have a lot of customization. 
at the expense of being a little bit complicated. Sometimes you might have to do a little bit of math. But let, let's apply this now to the STG-44. Wait, wait, hold on. This is CJ from the future, and before I move on, I forgot to explain why 200,000 is okay here. So, if we have a 100,000, and then we have to go to 1 million, why is 200,000 allowed? Well, you can think of it if you think of an actual gun, you can only have one sight on it at a time, technically. Uh, we can have up to nine sights then. So that means we can have a long sight, so like a long range scope, I'll call this long scope, add, and then 300,000. We could have a short scope for 400,000, medium scope 500,000, maybe a night vision, maybe a special dual zoom scope. You know, you, you have your options. But you can only go up to 900,000. So 900,000 is the limit for this one, for this grouping. But then once you get to 1 million, your limit is 9 million. So you can go suppressor and then say muzzle compensator or maybe a better suppressor. You know, you, you have your options on what you can do for attachments. Uh, your options are basically limitless. <laughs> I, I can't say actually limitless, but if you run into the limit, I'm going to call you a psychopath before I help you in my, the support chat. Just just be ready for that. All right, now we can move on to the STG-44 and the Feather.json. As you can see right now, we don't have any STG-44 model, right? 15 is not here, which means that if we go in game and go let mechanics get STG-44, it's going to show as the DPT-12. And that's a funny thing with resource packs. It just means that the last available custom model data was the DPT-12. So now, to add the STG-44, we're going to just copy and paste these lines. So we're going to copy the DPT-12 here, and here, and for sprinting. But just copying and pasting is not good enough. We have to update our 14s into 15s. So 1015 and 2015. And we have to change the DP12 to STG44. Same with STG44 aiming and STG44 sprinting. So now if we save that, go back in game and reload the resource pack, we'll see that our STG44, the skin works. And if we scope, it works. And if we sprint, it works. All right. Now, what if we put an attachment on? So if we web mechanics plus get reflex sight, and we try to put it on the STG-44, you'll see that it turns into a completely different gun. And this is because we haven't set up the resource pack yet. So if we go into our STG-44, you'll see that in the skin section, we add 10,000. See, or sorry, add 100,000 for the reflex site. So if we go into the feather.json and scroll down to the 100,000 section, we only have the M4A1 reflex site. So we're just going to copy and paste this section right below it. And we're going to replace the 7 with 15, but make sure to get rid of that extra 0. And instead of M4A1 reflex sight, it'll be STG44 reflex sight. We do that for all three lines. And now we can save. So now if we go back in game and reload the resource pack, you'll see that we did something stupid. <laughs> Let's check it out. No. Oh, so if we look here, uh, you can see that I named it reflex when I should have named it Reflex Site. So all we have to do is rename these files in our resource pack to Reflex Site and Reflex Site Aiming and then Reflex Site Sprinting. And we're all done. So if we go back in game, reload the pack, we should see that, yep, we've got our Reflex Site. Oh, but the scope doesn't work. And neither does the sprinting. Let's see, did I spell it wrong again? Reflex sight sprinting and reflex sight aiming. 
Don't think so. Oh, if we go into the files itself, I forgot to update these parent models to reflex site. This is a good debugging experience. <laughs> I have a whole video on debugging resource packs if you want to check that out. I highly recommend that because these issues are very easy to occur. All right, now that we've fixed those, if we reload the pack, or no, I, I reload the plugin. If we reload the pack and then scope, all right. And now if we sprint, there we go. All right. Now it looks like I have to adjust the model a little bit so it is not offset weird because right now you can see it's vertically offset, but that's something I'll cover out side this video all right well that's it for the scg 44 so let's move on to the fat man all right this is this is cj from the future again we made a mistake uh, if you've watched the debugging tutorial you'll see this really quickly our custom model data is out of order and it has to be in order in order to work so let's fix that uh, we have to first reorganize, so we'll move the STG reflex site. And we'll check the order again. And this 2000 needs to be moved forward. Okay, so now this is ordered correctly. And to avoid this kind of issue in the future, let's space out our blocks correctly. So first, I'll space out this one. And then the 2000 block. And then uh, this is a block. This is a block. Ooh, a lot of blocks. Not very pretty. <laughs> and I suppose we should do the same thing for skins. Oh, the skins are out of order. Oh, man. Good thing I caught that. Maybe I should create a script or something. We'll see about that. But either way, this will now be fixed. Uh, the issue before, we didn't notice it with the STG44, but the M4A1 was then completely broken and the models wouldn't load. And this fixes that. So save and you're good. Moving on to the Fat Man now, we have basically two weapons in one. So the first one has a starting model data of 16. And it's the first model to use the no ammo feature. And if we scroll towards the bottom of the file, we have 17 for our Fat Man rock launcher. All right, so if we go into our feather.json, we need to create two new models for each section. So I'm gonna copy paste the STG44 twice for the default, twice for the aiming, and twice for sprinting. I'll also create a brand new section for the 4000, which is for the no ammo section. Okay, now let's add support for the Fat Man now. We can't just use 15, we have to use 16 and 17. And we have to change STG44 to Fat Man and Fat Man Rock. Cool. Same thing here for aiming, or, yeah, aiming. So 16, 17, and then Fat Man aiming, Fat Man rock aiming. Once more here. So I don't know why I tried to make that 3,000, but 2016, 2017, Fat Man sprinting, and Fat Man rock sprinting. This last section here is going to be our 4000 section. And it's going to point towards the Fat Man Rock. And we need to have the 16 and 17 model. And no, I don't want it to point towards the rock. I want it to point towards our empty model. So in our resource pack, we have the Fat Man, we have the Fat Man Rock, and we have the Fat Man Empty. So the Fat Man Empty is what we want to point towards for 4,016 and 4,017. We have two lines that point towards the same model because if you remember, we have two guns, the 16 and the 17. 
So they both have to have their own empty model. But we'll just reuse the same model, of course, because why create a second model? That's just a waste of space. All right, so now if we save that, go back in game, F3T to reload, and we get the Fat Man. So you'll notice that it has the nuke launcher, and then we punch to scope, and then of course we can sprint. But now if we try to swap fire modes, you'll see it turns into a rock, and then we can scope, and we can sprint. And if we shoot it, we should see an empty model. Well, <laughs> we can't always have nice things, so let's check that out. <laughs> Could be a couple of things. So first, we see that we are using the correct numbers. Fat Man Empty. Let's make sure we spelled that correctly. Oh, Fat Man Empty is not... It doesn't have an underscore in between it. So let's just add that underscore. So now it matches in file. And if we go back in game, F3 plus T to reload. And we launch the rock. Now you'll see it's an empty gun. And once that reloads, I'll switch it to a nuke launcher. And shoot. And it's an empty launcher again. All right. So in this tutorial, we've covered a lot about skins, but also a little bit about resource packs. Resource packs are complicated. And if you're interested into making models or adding models to resource packs, I highly recommend checking out my debugging tutorial. It will help you so much, and honestly, if you come to my support chat asking, hey, why is my model pink? The only thing I can do is send you uh, a link to the tutorial. I'm not gonna be able to help you, I'm sorry. I, I can't support everyone who does resource pack requests. All right, well, I hope you all have good luck with making your models, and have fun.